this is a short introduction to Python. Python is a scripting language with lots of libraries. And we also have classes and objects. And a major difference uh, about Python is that it uses indentation to organize code. So there's a lot of confusion between tabs and and it's very hard to copy paste code because indentation gets messed up. So with that warning, let's look at Python. So Python can be used like a calculator. So before you can use it, you need to know there are like many versions of Python going around. Python 2.7 is the old classic version. And then when Python 3 came, it changed the way functions are called in print. So print and a lot of things stopped working. So many people are still using Python 2.7 for the last couple of years. And the new people are using Python 3.3. And it comes with, so when you install it, you install both these. You can also install NumPy, SuperPack, all these packages. So when we use some uh, esoteric feature of Python, we don't have to keep looking around. But it's already in a setup. So it gets installed in on Windows in C colon Python, the version number, and python.exe. So you type py uh, in DOS prom Windows, say C colon Python 3.3, python.exe you get this uh, Python prompt and here you can type any Python expression you can type 2 plus 2 and it replies with 4 the result computing the exp evaluating the expression you get 4 and we type control Z or control D that is end of file that means exit to DOS prompt okay so and the major commands of Python are basically importing libraries before you can start using it you need to import it and you can see using the dir command you can see what's inside the math library import math dir and then the library name dot uh, object inside that you can see what's inside what is math.py it's a 3.141592658793 and it goes on like that to whatever procession the library supports the pi the value of pi then then you need to add math dot uh, the function name log to mat.py it says 1.65 and if you don't want to keep adding the prefix in library you can just say from mat import star that means all the functions from mat come into the your global space then you can just say sign pi by 4 so you don't need to put mat.py by 4 and then you get 0 0.707 log 2 of pi is 1.65 same as this but it's shorter to write depends on which library and is it clear or not so in this case it's clear log2 is mat.log2 but if the library is so trick it's better to put the full name so let's look at example of a function so define a function with def and then you give it a function name and argument array is argument and colon colon a colon means uh, starting out a function and then you have triple quoted strings in python double quotes three times and then uh, double quote three times to end of the string so why is this required? Because inside this you can use single quote or uh, double quoted strings, anything inside this, without having to worry about putting backslashes around this stuff. So then this is a comment saying that quick sort in Python 3. And then you say if length of array, the input array is less than or equal to 1, they put colon to end of the if expression, return array. So at this point it returns back. And then otherwise you take pivot array is 0 so this is how you de reference an array 0 that's a pivot then you call quicksort recursively on the left side the pivot and the right side so left side is quicksort for this is called a lambda expression x for x in array 1 to n if x is less than pivot you're basically filtering out all the x is less than the pivot and on this side you're filtering out all the x is greater than or equal to the pivot so maybe you don't need this pivot out here and you call quick for example then you can say print you put parenthesis in this case uh, quick sort uh, 45132 it prints 1 2 3 and this is on a command prompt so you whenever python is expecting more input it prints tri uh, triple dot saying hey that's not complete yet and the last line triple dot you press enter that means the end of the thing other thing to notice is you are using uh, indentation for uh, this is not actually indentation this is the backslash that means it's part of the same line but here there is indentation inside the def so it is indented but it's really painful and it's hard to see indentation in python unless you're using a good editor like vim we'll look at that later 
don't use tabs tabs really hard to read so in WinRC you can actually use set tab setting equal to 4 and with shift width equal to 4 etc to get uh, 4 tab equal to 4 but the thing is when you copy paste it gets messed up and people can't see it somebody else may have TS equal to 8 or 1 2 whatever so if you mix them up it's a pain okay that's it thanks